That last video was a video we were talking about for years to come. Classic is not a strong enough word for that last video. Hey, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play AEW uh, Fight Forever. I'm Sirius JG with my special guest commentator. Uh, I am Bobo the Vulture. So I didn't, didn't remember to mention last time, Bobo is showing up to... Co yeah, he's going to do a few videos. So that's... And, no idea how we're going to get how many we're going to get recorded and i would imagine that the next time i sit down to record these videos will be without bobo so enjoy bobo his presence is not guaranteed for any specific number of future videos he will probably be in and out as uh life permits another this thing this is not record forever this is not record forever another thing that's in and out uh it's going to be the consciousness of kenny omega and john moxley if bobo has anything to say about it which he might I was going to say, um, I think I, I just didn't need to get, get, a, get out of the freaking room here. A good opportunity to hear the, um, any, any ring music or intro music here. Some of that is just levels. I mean, I'd rather be hearing you better right now anyway, but also, uh, I am curious to hear whether or not, uh, John Moxley has any better music now than he did as a single star in WWE. <laughs> He doesn't really. Uh, he has different music in AEW, but then he switched it to uh, a cover of uh, Wild Thing, which. Uh, oh, I should. Okay, it's a choice. Which, but they didn't use that in this game, so. Well, now's your chance to take him out. Well, I just realized I did the taunt on the outside, which means I had a timed taunt buff. I'm the guy that Bobo was beating up a minute ago. Oh, I got hit with this devastating uh, attacking uh, Kenny Omega finisher. It's probably not going to be enough, but you didn't. I didn't do enough damage first. Could be. Kenny's just going to chill out yep. for a while. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Exciting three-way dance, everybody. And I guess I picked Kenny Omega to fight in this match because I've already been John Moxley, and it wasn't really that satisfying, honestly. There's been a tremendous stork night here in Chicago. What better way to cap it all the longest range? Ah! The micro machine man couldn't read those fast enough. ETV antagonized and beat Moxley. Kenny Omega tonight. I didn't, oh, I didn't press that's it. Right. I didn't press any buttons. That gimmick there. won't work, <laughs> considering this game auto scrolls past any of its interesting written content. And as we said off screen, and probably should have mentioned on screen, all things considered, uh, you know, get well soon, Jim Ross. <laughs> Take care. We love you. But your delivery in this game has been um, what it is. Oh, has he had a, has he had more recent health issues? Yeah, he's I've, had. I know. I guess. I, yeah, you might not have been aware of that. He's he's stepping away from commentary to recover for some some health issues, which I don't think would have been going on when this game was recorded. I think that is down to him being like, "All right, let's get this done." <laughs> Why do I give a fuck about this game? Oh, let me see what this shirt says. It's he's had tag team Navy champions. Yeah, we'll say about the Twin Cities. Uh Minneapolis St. Paul tag team champions, sure. I mean, if we've got five hundred bucks to spare, I wouldn't mind Bobo having a Minneapolis tourism shirt. It's a, okay, it's the first shirt I've bought, but I basically I would want the DC shirt and the Minneapolis shirt, and that would probably be it. Yeah, and I didn't get the DC shirt. It's, it's, so I, I don't think this is like chic secret information, but Minneapolis is a, is the hometown of Bean, or at least it's a town yes, where she spent a lot of time. So. I don't think that's like, I don't think I'm in trouble for saying that, but if I am, well, let me know and we'll delete this video. <laughs> Finish your strength has been powered up. Because I think that's probably the logical thing to do next. Although you haven't had a lot of people kicking out of Bobanoka Driver as it is. No, I mean, now that you mention it, we just, I was like, we probably won't win here because we haven't done that much damage, but nope, <laughs> we won. Oh, not Dynamite, I mean, uh, I meant to do uh, Rampage here. Maybe we should do some Young Bucks mini games. I mean, it's they're dumb as hell, but at least there's some variety. I'm just gonna take on Sting on their B show. 
which is now their yeah, C show because right. they've added uh, Collision. Um, the undefeated. Where does Collision emanate from? It's a Saturday night. It's like it's the show that CM Punk is on since he's back, and he the Elite won't be on the same show as him because they're pussies. Oh, so so not Korea then? No, it's not. It's not from Korea. No, it's. I mean, it could Sting be. cowers over nothing. Could be collision in Korea, where like everyone was terrified. Hold on, oh fuck. Yeah, uh, that's not my timer. Yeah, hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna have to edit this apart later. I have to go. My planet needs me. All right, so let's get. Yeah, your your uh, uh, your oncologist's office calls. You answer the call, even if it's to remind you of an appointment you knew that you had because you didn't know that that's all that it was about. So let's get back to it here. <laughs> Be like, I have the test results, and I'm afraid it's... Well, no, I already knew about having that, so I just... Actually, I did get a call from uh, my doctor the other day to tell me, oh, yeah, like, we still want you to come to your appointment Monday, but the last scan was clean, which I appreciated. It, it means you don't spend the weekend wondering. But at the same time, now his nurse has called me to say, come to the appointment. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm trying to beat up Sting, okay? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Kind of think about how many games has Sting been in? Versus, versus Bobo. <laughs> well, I mean, for, and it's like I'm sure Hulk Hogan has probably been in more like uh, yeah, wrestling I'm sure he video has. games than anybody. But like Sting is oh. still appearing in them. Where... He just gets a fucking finisher, I guess, because he was because uh... he's Sting. Man. I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess. <laughs> Not gonna get to use his finisher, but I mean, he looks fine. <laughs> he looks cool. Something else. Yeah, it was... Cool. Oh, broke break. I thought it was clear. So, I will say... Uh, but no, the, I, uh, to answer your question, I don't know exactly how many games he's been in. Everyone harps on about uh, one of the WWE games from the N64 era. But um, we played, uh, like, WCW NWO versus The World, and like, that game is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, think, I forget if it's World Tour... World Tour was another really good yeah. which one is it that is but yeah like the WCW games of the N64 era that's like one of those like whenever somebody is like talking about making a new wrestling game yeah. or they're like kickstarting one or like they're like we want to make a new version of something that evokes the spirit of that I think it's war like is it the Warzone or Raw but uh yeah World Tour yeah NWO WC uh, World Tour I guess was first and then there was revenge but like those were great and they they featured the mechanic where if you press the r3 trigger uh you just could kick out of anything which uh well i guess that was twiddling the analog stick yes which there was, was only one of them in the uh, n64 oh, okay, yeah. so it was it was advanced stuff for that point for a controller to have an analog stick at all but by the way i wanted to give you that the death penalty and that's not in this game oh well. <laughs> I don't know what horrible crime I committed, but... Well, no, I mean, it's a... Yeah, you know you know what I mean, Bobo, you silly. Oh, did I just do a flare flop there? It's got, like... I'm, trying to, I'm showing off in front of Stink. He's got, like... He's gotten almost no offense on me, but he still keeps getting to, like, having just as much momentum as I do. I mean, that's just being Sting. Like, I feel like at this point, it's just... The crowd is going to go ape shit over everything that you do, so you're considered... Wow. <laughs> yeah, Boba's got some leaps. Close line from hell. Oh, I, I keep forgetting. Hitting the signature doesn't give you a finisher. You can just keep doing signatures. You've got to taunt before you can have a finisher. Well, you got a signal. Right. I don't know if this game even has the, like, jumping in circles, like, neck ring that, uh... Now that's a rope Oak break. I was trying to drag him. But anyway. No, I, 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 I look to you. The Harry Carey taunt is not in the game. So you can't say, If the moon was made of trees, would you eat it? I just want to know about if the moon was made of hot dogs. Diving off the poker chips. Yes, I remember <laughs> when Excalibur said that. <laughs> it was Ed. That's to my heart. That's Rampage tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. What am I saying? Of course you did. Good about it. Okay, so for Rampage stuff, they just have 
just generic things that Taz can say. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. They don't bother to be like Bobo the Vulture has come out with a thing. They don't. They don't do the the classic video game thing where it just be like Bobo the Vulture comes out with a great win against Sting. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but they don't have the 1990s uh, video game technology to have voiceover commentary from the, the you know, in this match. It's like that's not a thing. No, they don't have that ability. So. Uh, I guess we can go out. Sightseeing will get us a picture. Press conference might get us a visit from a rival, but it could also just have a nursing student asking questions like, how many fish can you name? So we'll probably do sightseeing. I mean, we are going to eat food, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. We don't have to do that immediately. Just, uh... Well, no, now you made your wishes very well known there. It's obviously very important that Virtual Bobo eat some food. hungry. All right, so you tell me, Bobo, what what is your what is your best guess? What will the Minneapolis food be? The um, the culinary the the culinary specialty individual thing that you would get in Minneapolis is a hamburger called the Juicy Lucy. It is a patty with a layer of cheese inside the actual meat, so that it melts like and it stays hot and melted inside of the you're talking about minnesota in general walleye as a fish like fried walleye is very common but like in the city itself the culinary specialty is a juicy lucy and it's not Let's a thing that, got. it's not a thing you can only get at one restaurant like the, the juicy there's like lucy. two or three places that do it but like yeah it's it, one it's, of those types of things where it's like oh you go to this place they got the best thing yeah it, you know his grub informer one of those places will find out not much longer i hope before the sweet embrace of death frees me from this fight forever nightmare. <laughs> or maybe retirement might be preferable to death. I, I guess I hadn't thought that through. Here's your juicy oh. Lucy. Ding, ding, you win, Bobo. I mean, you know, not in-game Bobo. Real life Bobo. It's, it's a cheeseburger, but the cheese is, cheese is baked inside the hamburger patty. Well, for beans' sake, I can pretend that's a good idea. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, for beans' sake. What a problem, right? Well, in this case, Minneapolis. What a crazy place. What a, what a... <laughs> yeah, you're a fun guy. I'm glad I followed you here from Kentucky. <laughs> it's the Minneapolis original. Enjoy. I mean, you can't expect them to have more created waitresses than they have created wrestler options, right? No. Oh, meanwhile, we got, um, I think that might be uh, Christopher Daniels back there uh, doing his Ray Charles impression in the background. Shout out. Shout out. Sandwiching go. cheese inside the burger makes all the difference. How this bar food legend hasn't spread beyond Minnesota is anyone's. I guess if you get to choose your cheese, I mean, if you could have like a spicy jack instead of a. or a cheddar instead of American, I'd probably. What the hell? I'd give it a you shot. You know, like, I only ever had one, like, literally, like, we got off the plane the first time I was taken there. She's like, we're going to get you one. Okay. And I went, and I think I just got it the way that it comes. I didn't go into a whole lot of uh, uh, specifics on it. Now, the other thing that I'm concerned about is, is Lairs Grub is... Informer, what they're calling it, because Game Informer is based in Minneapolis? Or oh, it could be some Am I getting thing, it yeah. confused with... Uh, I don't know if any of the restaurant names are legitimate. I do know that I wouldn't be that excited about what looks like either spinach or kale. Well, it's not kale. It looks like it's probably lettuce. It looks like spinach to me. That is not a thing I'm interested in on a, on a hamburger. No, that is a stock image of a hamburger. That's not a okay. <laughs> that's, But there that's, was that's cheese coming me. out the side of it there. That wasn't a proper Juicy Lucy. Because you'd, you'd have to bite that's... into the hamburger before you would be able to visibly see the cheese, right? I guess it could be squeezing out the side like a jelly donut. All right. Now that you've eaten, do you have enough okay. strength to <laughs> go sightseeing? Now, now that my blood sugar is good again, we can go <laughs> sightseeing or go to a press conference. We're going to go sightseeing. Oh, that's the famous uh, game informer. I mean, uh, grub informer where there are juicy lucies. I want to go look at that place. What? Uh, are we going to go to the Mall of America in Minnesota? Is that where we're going to go sightsee? Oh, yeah. I guess I would assume that. The... <gasps> you could go to Hulk Hogan's Pasta Mania. <laughs> Except that it's been closed no, it's, for years. Yes. Lake Winnebog... Come on, Mall Winnebago of America. Winnebagosh. Winnebagoshish. Okay. Winnebagoshish. Winnebagoshish. My, my in-laws have a cabin on Lake of the Woods. It is not the same place. For all, for all I know, it is possible there is a Lake Winnebagoshish because there's 
thousand, ten thousand of them, so... And you know what the Lake of the Woods and Lake Winnebogogish have, have in common? Neither of them are the Mall of America. No. Sure feels nice to get on nature. Just the jungle boy. <laughs> jungle boy's gonna say no, I hate nature. <laughs> Aside from a lack of heat or vines, I really can't complain. He's not one of their better promo cuts, is what I'm saying. <laughs> The sounds of running water and birds chirping beats idly, idling engines and car horns any day. Let's take a pick before we hop in this canoe. You gonna wear a life vest? I'm already wearing a shirt. Isn't that enough? Remember, kids, okay. Jungle, jungle Boy. Really bad values to be <laughs> stuck on our youth. This is Jungle Boy here to teach you about the dangers of drowning. <laughs> But he's not going to do a very good job of it. <laughs> yeah, unless he drowns, he's not really doing a good job. This is yeah. So Jungle Bur Boy, Jungle Bird, Jungle Boy. Jungle Bird. Like since this game came out, like it, it can't even be like oh, with like one week before release date, they should have made him a heel. He's turned heel since the game issued. And I, but I think this is him showing off his future dark personality of trying to misinform children about water safety. <laughs> All right. I guess I, we we have no choice. We either have to work out, or do a do a young bucks mini game. What do you think would be more interesting? <laughs> well, I mean, we could go to a press conference. We would gain nothing from it, but it is a possibility. I mean, we could, but like I mean, we... if it's a young bucks mini game and the cards go flying by, I don't think I'm going to be. Able oh to no, no. You, you, you? you probably the best thing you could do for me is just to give me a nice quiet studio. If that's what we do. Yeah. But uh, you can give me moral support if I lose, because JR really made me feel pressured to Look, win. Just because it's a mini game doesn't mean you won't have maxi pressure. Just because it's a mini game doesn't mean your whole life is a giant sack of shit if you don't win. Oh, did just we... because it's a mini game doesn't mean that I don't have your beloved pet in my hand right now <laughs> and a revolver in the other hand. <laughs> Fucking shit, JR! Okay! <laughs> Damn! Uh, let's see, I could do arm power, and I'm more interested in passive skills these days. Tope attack? I forget how Is to do tope the... attacks, but I think I can't do them until I learn this buff, actually. Oh no, Is that's an the... action skill, being able to do topes. Is the magnum driver in this game? The, uh, like, pump handle drop of, uh... <sighs> I don't know. I maybe under a different name. <laughs> you don't really want to go into building up a secondary finisher for Bobo at this point. Well, it wasn't like I didn't reach a like you uh, in your most watched video ever level of time, but it did take quite a bit to build Bobo, and the vast majority of the choices I made almost never appear in game. Oh, explosion damage buff, boost the momentum gains for a brief period when you receive an explosion, and this one boosts the gains during a yeah. brief when you trigger an explosion so this would be so just, they would be useful in one match but it yes. is the match we're building to and you could do it either way <laughs> brutality buff i haven't i haven't bloodied anybody yet injury buff also known as the vampiro break it motherfucker buff <laughs> well he did watch that match earlier today because oh uh, did you like, while I was eating, uh, because, you know, I had just finished, you know, checking out uh, you hanging out with Penta El Cerro Miedo. I mean, yeah. finished watching me hang out with Penta El Cerro Miedo. <laughs> I was just like, wow, that was... <laughs> it's an interesting thing. What really uh, amused me about it is that the, the version of that match that's on YouTube, there is one point, of course, there's the point at which Vampiro says, break it, motherfucker. Right. Um, they beep that. There is one other point in the match where I think he... I forget what it is. It might be that, like, he... He got, like, he got pushed off of the top onto thumb... It was, some, it was a thumbtack spot, I think. <laughs> that he landed in them and then he sat back up and looked, you know, close enough to directly into camera and said, fuck, again. Mm -hmm. And they beeped that, too. They didn't beat the fact that basically the entire match, everybody who's chanting, holy shit. Right. So, well, like, shit, shit and fuck, they're, they're not at the same level these days with the censors, but... Yeah, no, I guess they, they pick their battles. Otherwise, maybe try to post this match that says, holy, holy, holy. We get a little irritating after a while. 
All right, here we go. It enables use of a desperation action, which can be used once per match while on the ground or in, in a dangerous state. So if I get to a point where I think I'm going to get pinned, I yeah, can put my knees up and do a roll up. Match, you can still. Or if you're Adam, uh, Adam Cole, baby. Apparently, he just gives somebody an upper nutter from the mat. Um, the other thing I could save up for is the bailout, which just means that once per match, or maybe it's more you than get once per match. massive money from the government. Exactly. Allows you to roll out of the ring. Yeah, actually, that seems to be allowed to happen more often than once. That might be a smarter one to get. Although desperation impulse occasionally just gives you a bullshit win, but whatever. We'll see, we'll, we'll see here. All right, I guess uh, we still got to figure it out. We want to do a press conference or a, a Young Bucks mini game. With you here, I think my ego can take it if I lose. You can you can coach me through, and there are uh, ones I can that be the coach too. Yeah, well, this will get you one quarter of the way closer to having a free, uh, you know, uh, bailout. Bailout. Um, yeah. Thing, All right. So let's do it. Because there are ones. So we might have fun interactions with the young bucks here. They might. That's never happened before, but I guess it could start now. <laughs> we could. There's no precedent for this, but. All Chip right. Gather. Hi, I'm Chip Gather. So you can be it's Matt. BTV meeting BTE. You can go ahead and be Matt. Oh, so Bobo the Vulture, you here to game with us, BTE style? Is that a K-pop group or? I yeah, I think so. No, what? What well, stands for being the elite? But they may have named themselves after a K-pop group. I don't know. Today's game is chip gather. You've heard of pennies from heaven? Well, this is poker chips and bombs. I'm going to blow you away with my skills at this one. I'm all trip, no dip. I like dip. And this one, I think, is one of the ones you can play. Yeah, like this... There's a set of games you can only play in this story mode, but these... <laughs> this one I have played off screen. Grab as many falling chips as you can. The player collects the most wins. Look out for dropping bombs. Getting hit in a blast will momentarily incapacitate you. They're worth different amounts of points. It's incredibly dumb. But I think I can probably win this one, which is nice. Now that I've set myself for, for this big pressure situation. You generally, yeah, like them hitting, like, people hitting each other is just a big distractor. I don't know why they're doing it. And it's annoying me because I'm now way behind. Because I actually got knocked down. I also seem to have forgotten how to run, which isn't helping. Yeah, I'm well, losing badly here. Speed is down. Cause this is where you, yeah, you have to try to avoid a stupid amount of bombs. Oh, now, do you get a buff from these now that you have the? Uh... This would appear to be your big opportunity to. Yeah, uh, this is where out. pretty much all the points are. But I still lost. By yeah, I lost to Nick Jackson, who is the dumber of the two young bucks. He's so the that's, dumb buck. that's disappointing. He's the dumb. It's disappointing, but at the same time, I've won that one, and you can get to it from the menu, so I can always have a rematch. But I, if I do those matches, I want to play as CM Punk, because the victory post CM Punk has and the placement of his name on the Chiron completely covers his tights and makes it look like there's a happy, celebrating, naked CM Punk who just won the chip challenge. <laughs> he won chip <laughs> challenge. He went through all those little puzzles. Oh, BTV, you lost. Looks like you wasted a turn. Well, I mean, the other turn option that we had was also a waste. Yeah, and we wasted our time with a loser. Get to stepping. Defeat. Oh, no, we actually can lose something from this. We no longer have excellent motivation. No. Do we have time to do another match uh, before all this excitement? Uh... There you go. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, we got plenty of time. All right. That Juicy Lucy gave us a uh, high energy. Is that high energy hamburger? But our motivation has been... Oh, no, John Moxley is here to uh, cheat <laughs> without no repercussion. <laughs> I mean, come on. He's, he's the manager? Audrey, yeah. Audrey uh, Edwards doesn't have a great history of actually assisting us in these situations. I don't know why Jim Ross isn't more excited about our matches. We we have Hoss written in the entryway with giant balloons. I mean, we don't have Oklahoma written in giant balloons. Oh, that's true. 
<sighs> okay, I guess I got it switched up. I thought you were fighting Moxley and Eddie Kingston no. was uh, his manager. Eddie Kingston is, is here to fight. Yeah, that's right. Because Eddie Kingston, pretty good wrestler, but oh, yeah. like, He's I always my... thought his main thing was like just coming out and doing talking for... Oh no, he, that's... He's, a, he's a big promo guy yeah. from like places that I've seen him before. Yeah, yeah, no, and he's he. He often in AEW is sort of the, is the same. More recently, he's been doing more wrestling and less talking for others. He was the English-speaking guy who hung out with Penta and uh, at Phoenix for a while before. Well, Death Triangle kind of was a thing, and then it wasn't. And Eddie Kingston was hanging out with him, and then it was again. <laughs> Get he, out here to talk for, uh, for, for Pentagon. Well, he's the one who uh, rescued Moxley from being murdered by the cage that didn't explode. The like cage he, that didn't explode. They had a dramatic uh, exploding cage death match, and uh, Moxley was left in the ring as the countdown went off, and it was going to explode. So, slingshot powerbomb, why not? And right in the middle of the match. Eddie Kingston came out and like lied on his body to save him because they'd been rivals, but they had true respect. And then the explosions kind of didn't go off, and it was not that great. <laughs> the cage that didn't explode. It's like the brain that wouldn't die. <laughs> oh no! If only I had the ability to roll out of the ring. But that Too power Moxley. has not been granted to me. Yeah, Moxley is is showing some restraint here. Yeah, so I will say about Aubrey Edwards, she reminds me of how in some of those PlayStation 2 era um, games, uh, wrestling games, you would have the option to turn on or off the ref. And I remember that was yeah. also big in, uh, what was it? Not Extreme Warfare Revenge, the um, Wrestling Empire games, the um, the ones that... Uh, I went, I went to pin them and it didn't, something... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, that's my yeah, fault. Yeah, the M. Dickey games. Like, you can turn yeah. the referee on or off, and sometimes you just turn the referee off because you want the rules to be enforced. <laughs> because otherwise, the, ref the referee will just slowly lumber into somewhere <laughs> near the position they need to be, get caught on something, yes. and then a pin will just never happen. Well, you saw there, I, I messed it up by hitting the wrong button to pin, but this game has a thing where... If a wrestler's in trouble, the fans will start rooting for them. But they don't really root for wrestlers until they're in real trouble. So there's a real bait TV. Almost seem more interested in fighting John Moxley than the actual opponent in the match, Eddie Kinks. This Except is not that... reflected in anything that we saw, <laughs> but I yeah. know the deep down desires and motivations of the TV. My psychic powers showed me. No, but but the fans tend to start I had a oh. <laughs> John Moxley, what a scummy tonight. So be it. You better scout a good emergency room next week in Chicago, too. But I was going to choose Kenny. <laughs> because oh. I'm challenging him at Revolution to explode a bomb or death bomb. Somebody's going to get hurt bad at Revolution, Moxley. I'll do everything in my power to make sure it isn't me. That seems <laughs> rational. a random member of the audience. That's... <laughs> oh, God. And there it is. Bobo the Vulture is called a... John Moxley for Revolution, despite the stated intent of the player to choose the other opponent. <laughs> I mean, not stated to the game. We were never given that choice, but... Yes. Well, I, I don't think the roll out of the ring... Uh, that's what I was planning to get next. I don't know how helpful it will be in an exploding barbed wire death match. I don't know that you get to roll out under the barbed wire, <laughs> which is also set with explosives. Actually... Let me make note of something, uh, JG. Uh, oh, we had, I had a... paused my I had paused my timer okay. when you got your phone call. So when I said, "Oh, we've got plenty of time," it's because we have plenty of time from whenever you had your phone call. All right. Well, so I mean, we should probably it's call probably it now. Probably been a bit now. But it's a plus two wind resistance buff because it's the windy city. Har har. Yes. We already had our like fun interaction with CM Punk, and it wasn't in Chicago, so I'm I don't understand that. But I do understand that per Bobo. It's time to call it a video. When we come back next time, I will hopefully remember to edit out that. No, I'm at 30 minutes, and that's that's before I edit out the phone call, so we're probably okay. But yeah, uh, about a minute. But we'll be we'll be okay next time too, unless we're not. But we'll find out then. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.